All right, you guys, this is an integrated math two review of module eight, factoring and solving quadratics. Let's go ahead and get started. So solve each equation. So here we got a factor, factors of negative eight that add to negative two or negative four times a positive two. So when it starts off with x squared and it's a trinomial, it's always a by times a by, binomial times binomial. And you put your x's in the beginning and then those factors of negative 8 that add to negative 2, that's what goes here. So it doesn't matter which order you put them in. You can put the minus 4 and the plus 2 over here. You can put the plus 2 over here and the minus 4. It doesn't matter. Now once you get it factored, then we set this equal to 0 and set that equal to 0. So when we do that and then uh, add 4 and subtract 2, we get 4 or negative 2. Okay, easy enough. All right. Okay, this one. This one's a binomial, and these are perfect squares. That's 4x times 4x. That's uh, 7 times 7. So that's the conjugate thing, okay? So you put a plus in 1 and a minus in 1, and the 4x goes here and here, and the 7 goes here and here. So once you get it factored, then you set those factors equal to 0. Okay, so we subtract 7 on the first one and add 7 on the second one, then divide those by 4, so you get plus or minus 7 fourths. Okay, all right, this one here, this is a perfect square trinomial. When it's a perfect square trinomial, then it goes to a binomial squared. And always this sign goes in the middle. So 5x times 5x, so we're going to put 5x here. 6 times 6 goes here. So that's what the it factors. And you just got to mentally check. 5x times 6 is 30x. You got to double it. Double that 60x. So we're on the right track, okay? So now we just set that equal to 0. You don't have to do it twice. Just do it once. Add 6 to both sides. Divide by 5, and we get 6 fifths, okay? All right, how about this guy? Okay, so this one is not a perfect square trinomial because that's a 3. So I like to call it smiley face factoring. Multiply 4 times 3 is 12. And then other factors of 12. What else times 12 get, adds to 8? Well, 6 times 2 or 2 times 6. Okay, so we're going to rewrite this guy and replace the 8x with 2x plus 6x right there. There it is. Then we can factor it by grouping. Okay, once we factor it by grouping, then we can GCF out of those. And then you get the common binomial factor. So there it is factored. So now we can set those factors equal to 0. Subtract 1, subtract 1, subtract 3, subtract 3, then divide by 2. So we get those as our answer. Okay, all right, I know I'm going kind of fast, but uh, we've done this before. So, okay, we've got to make this equal to zero. So subtract 36 from both sides. All right, now, this looks like it's a perfect square trinomial, but it has to be a plus 36, and that's a minus 36. So this one is where we do a by times a by. Put the x's in there. Factors of negative 36 that add to negative 9. Well, I get, uh, here's factors of 36. It's going to be this pair right here. So we're going to make it negative 12 and positive uh, 3. Okay, so there it is, negative 12 and positive 3. Now we got it factored. We set those factors equal to 0, and we get uh, positive 12 or negative 3. Okay, all right, so here, let's make it equal to zero. Then we do smiley face factoring. That's negative 70. Other factors of negative 70 are negative 35 times a positive 2. Okay, so we can replace that negative 33x with negative 35x plus 2x. Okay, and then we can factor by grouping. Okay, so when we factor by grouping and GCF out, we get the common x minus 7. Now we can set those factors equal to 0 and then go ahead and solve. Whoops, I forgot to divide by 5. Let's divide by 5. So there we go. Okay, there's our two answers right there. Almost done. Okay, okay, this one is negative 60. Factors of negative 60 is also 12 times negative 5, and that's the pair that adds to 7. So when we um, rewrite that, we replace the 7x with 12x minus uh, 5x. Okay, when we factor by grouping, we have to be careful because of this minus. As soon as we put parentheses around it, it's going to change that sign right there. All right, then we can pull, what, a 4x out of that. We can pull a 5 out of that, and we're left with uh, x plus threes on both of those. Factor that out, set those factors equal to zero, and we get those as our answers. Okay, all right, so the area of a rectangular pool is x squared plus 17x plus 72 square meters. Okay, there is a three uh, meter wide concrete walkway around the pool. Write an expression to represent the dimensions of the outside border of the walkway. Sorry, that was my chair. All right, so there's our rectangular pool, has that area. So what times what? 
uh, equals that. So factors of 72 that add to 17 are, are 9 times uh, 8. So we can make this x plus 9. This is x plus 8. Remember, it's in meters right there. Okay, now let's add a 3 border, a 3 meter border going around. All right, so now this dimension right here is this dimension plus this side 3 plus this side 3. So this is x plus 9 plus 3 plus 3. Okay, similarly, this dimension, if I put it over here, is x plus 8. Then we add 3 on top and add 3 on bottom. So x plus 3 plus 3, um, we get uh, those dimensions. So there's the dimensions of our, of our pool right there. All right, if you are in my class, that would have been your assignment. Take care.